Sears has just the right gift for everyone this Christmas. Gifts that will make everyone happy, like tabletop appliances, a wide selection, 10 to 50% off. For the gourmet cook, a seven-speed food processor, half price at just $49.99. And for grandma, pretty things like plush color made towels in a variety of colors, half price at $3.49 each. Wrap up a beautiful Christmas with perfect gifts for the whole family. Welcome to another episode of Retail Archaeology. Today we're going to be taking a look at Sears. It's prime Christmas shopping time right now, and you'll see there's nobody coming or going from this location. Now, I filmed this episode at the Sears at Superstition Springs Center in Mesa, Arizona. Now, I chose this location because I had recently filmed at the Sears at Fiesta Mall for my Fiesta Mall video. And that Sears is just not as well put together as this one is. This Sears looks nicer, although a lot of the fixtures and everything still look like they're out of the 90s. And I did grow up going to this mall and this Sears specifically, so it, it looks very much the same like it did when I was a kid, which is kind of crazy, but it still looks clean and, and put together for the most part. But you can see one of the important things missing are customers. There's just hardly any in here. It's very empty at a time when it should be busy. You'll see my daughter in a lot of the footage because I'm using her as an excuse to film because the employees will look at you weird when they see you filming inside their store and a lot of times it's frowned upon, but if you're filming your kid, you got an excuse. But you can see just no customers. They're at your Christmas store. Sears. Name brand electronics like this LXI Tulux camcorder outfit with telephoto lens. Just $799.99. Only at Sears Brand Central. For Christmas. When I was a kid, Sears was the store everybody wants you to buy appliances. That's where my parents bought most of theirs. But now you can see the appliance section isn't nearly as nice looking and there's nobody looking at appliances. Now the electronics section here is nicer than the one at the Fiesta Mall location, at least it looks better put together. But there's still a lot of off-brand TVs and stuff, a few name brand ones as well. But again, a lot of off-brand stuff and a lot of weird older electronic stuff, frankly a lot of the same stuff that Kmart had. And some empty shelves. Here's the last part of the appliance and electronics section. You can see a long shot from one end of the store to the other and just no customers as far as the eye can see. Looks like somebody was looking at one of the vacuums at one point. And here's the mattress section which takes another large chunk of the downstairs up. Um, but again, nobody looking at mattresses either. And, and this is an early evening during prime Christmas time shopping, so there should be customers here. Let's take a look and see what the upstairs looks like. This is the upstairs entrance from the mall into Sears, and you can see there's nobody coming or going here either. And look, there's a head shop next door to Sears in the mall. Didn't think I'd ever see a head shop in the mall. And obviously the spot next to Sears wasn't commanding that high of a price if a head shop is what's gone in there. I'm not seeing a lot of customers upstairs either.
Come see the softer side of Sears. Now, the upstairs portion of the store is mostly like their clothing and shoes, that kind of stuff. A lot of the fixtures here again though are the same ones that were here in the 90s. The store looks just like it did in the 90s when I was growing up and to be honest a lot of the clothing and stuff looks like it's from the 90s. Kind of feels like being in a time capsule in here. And again eerie with nobody really shopping either in here. You can see down this shot, down this hallway, that the floor looks dirty, but it's not. It's just really worn because it hasn't been updated. And this is something that was kind of cool, this uh, watch and clock repair area. I remember this being here when I was a kid, and I'm surprised it's still here. This is kind of cool. dark spooky corridor that's always good and then we've got the optical section here but it's closed right now and I believe behind this blue curtain is where the portrait studio used to be this location doesn't have a portrait studio anymore though of video games in their heads, Sears is having a sale. Right now through Christmas, these Nintendo and Sega games are at least $10 off the regular price at Sears Funtronics. All this only at Sears. Good night, Kevin. Sears, you're home for the holiday. Now, the portrait studio used to be right there where that blue curtain is, and then right here where these Levi's jeans are used to be where the Funtronics counter was. And I remember spending a lot of time there as a kid playing Super Nintendo games and Sega Genesis games and NES games on the demo units. Especially when we were waiting to get family portraits taken. But Sears Funtronics is a thing of the past. They don't even sell video games anymore, just like Kmart. Here's another long shot down from one end of the store to the other and you can see no customers. I think Sears is in trouble. I think Sears is dying. If you've got a Sears near you, you might want to go check it out before it's gone, because I don't know how much longer they're going to be around. They look like they're in trouble. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll take one more quick lap here around this part of the store. If you've got any old school or dead or dying retail stuff around you that's interesting, take pictures and send it to my Twitter, and I'll uh, include any interesting pictures that I get at the end of my next episode. There's a uh, link to my Twitter account down in the description below and also at the end of the video. Once again, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for checking out an episode of Retail Archaeology. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and if you got some extra time, check out one of these other episodes. Also, if you're into retro video gaming, I've got a channel devoted to that as well you can check out. And as always, thanks for watching.